Hello everyone, this is Ebony and Ivory. Hi, 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 welcome back. Yeah, we're doing another reaction and we're going to check out Falling in Reverse and their cover of Last Resort from Papa Roach. Mm -hmm. We did a reaction to the original one not long ago because Comfort hasn't heard it. Now that she did, we're going to have a look at Falling in Reverse. I'm expecting a lot. The yeah, band is too. like, cool. Upside down. <laughs> they use a lot of like CGI in their music videos. I think everything's on like that green screen. The way he sang that don't give a fuck like was so soft. <laughs> I don't know, it just caught me by surprise. But it's starting like very slow. It's yeah, definitely like this fits kind of what I would think about the like in in terms of the lyrics, mm -hmm. but I still expect it's gonna be like heavy stuff going on. I would actually say listening to the original version and this. This actually suits, like you say, it fits in perfectly, like the sound, like how slow mm. it was. Like And the piano, it's, isn't it? Yeah. It's kind of like a more, uh, it's, yeah, it's one of those like instruments that if you play like, you know, a sad melody, you know, it, it actually invokes emotions mm. in a way. I think it's difficult to do it on the guitar, especially electric guitar, you know, heavy guitar. And it's interesting how he started from this particular intro is it an intro like like it felt like he picked from this one like he decided to start this music from this particular verse or this uh, lyrics hmm. it's surprising i thought that was the beginning i, I don't remember now how the original mm -hmm. song started which lyrics but I, I thought that it was going pretty much as the original in terms of the verse okay let's keep going This is my last resort. Hmm. Oh, the music is beautiful, unlike the piano. Cut my life into pieces. Embrace my last resort, suffocation, no breathing. Don't give a fuck if I cut my arm bleeding. Do you even care if I die bleeding? Would it be wrong or it be right? Hmm. The way the song is going so slowly, softly, it kind of reminds me when Disturbed did the cover of, uh, is it Sound of Silence? You didn't expect Disturbed to, you know, do that type of song. And this feels to me like something similar in the way, you know, when we did uh, Watch the World Burn, I also didn't expect there's going to be so much rapping in the song. Yeah. Where this one now, it's like, it, it, it's been going slow for a little bit now. Actually I'm kind of expecting like the the yeah. drop, like the drums, heavy guitars coming in and mm -hmm. making it epic. You know, there's the piano and also I think you have um, cellos, mm. isn't it? It really has like this epic feeling to it, almost a little bit of like a movie soundtrack or something. And, and uh, you know, when you talk about um, Falling in Reverse, it's totally different from what we've seen him, you know, done. Mm -hmm. So this is like so different. It's unexpected, like you said, disturbed did, you know, uh, sound of silence. This is really different. To me, it's like sometimes it's difficult to wrap my head around because I don't, I didn't expect that it's going to go this way to start. And I'm somewhere in, you know, somewhere in the back of my head, I want to like have those heavy guitars come in and all this stuff. And I'm like waiting for this to happen. That's it. That's, <laughs> that's what's good. They always keep you expecting you know you expect that it's gonna be like hard but it just goes slow <laughs> mm. yeah because i'm losing my sight losing my mind wish somebody would tell me i'm fine i love this part of the lyrics I'm 
Is he using auto tune? I think I really didn't get the auto tune, really. No, okay, maybe I'm maybe I'm wrong. I also get a feeling, you know, when it's almost like the world around him starts to crumble. Mm -hmm. You get the feeling of the song, like how everything starts to, you know, the city is starting to crumble. All those like uh, um, buildings fall apart or start falling apart. I guess. Yeah, and the song, the song. It's a funny lyrics when you listen to them. It kind of tells you a story of a guy who feels like alone. There's no one who is there. Ah, so it feels like it's an yeah, empty the world. City is like, yeah, it's empty. empty. It's Everything just empty. here alone, there, with no one to talk to, no one who would you know, tell him you're fine. So I kind of feel like um, the whole song, it's. Yeah, it's really, you have only the band playing. Yeah. The, the song for him it's interesting the outfit they chose you know to wear like you can't really see their faces and all that mm. it still feels like yeah you're in the dark there's no one there with you like you're all alone in the world see like the, it falls mm. love for another see like that scream is like mm -hmm. screaming out the pain you can feel in the voice wow the music sounds so epic yeah The way the music start, starts playing here, it's kind of sad, like the all those uh, cellos, maybe some violins, piano, but I can sense almost like a, a little bit of like a hopeful motive to it. I don't know. What do you think? I still feel it's, um, it's getting more, um, because you can see the whole wall around him is crumbling with the whole yes. you know, walls and it's, it's getting worse. Get, he's getting more depressed losing his mind, getting to like his peak, you know, where he can decide to end it if he wants. And so. Okay. I mean, yeah. for me, the music has is sad, but it's got like this little undertone somewhere there that I feel like there's a little bit of a hope somewhere. I don't know. Maybe I'm just in my head. Hmm. That's kind of, that's the way it makes me feel. You see, see like those Wow, what a like a scream. Everything's frozen in time. The whole melody even of this song, like everything's changed. It's so different. Like, but I must say, it's really like the song, the music really fits the lyrics mm -hmm. and the way he sings it, actually. Because if you listen to the Papa Roche version or the original, you know, for me, it was always that disconnect between music that you want to bounce to and rock out to against the lyrics, heavy lyrics, you know, about suicide, you know, wanting to hurt yourself, being, you know, in a dark place. But th this fits like really well. Yeah, it fits. It's so well. different. I like uh, they showed a little part of one of the instrumentalists there, like shading tears, like you see the tears, like 
you know. Oh, okay. Yeah. I didn't catch that. I think there's a lot of little, um, you know, things left here and there. They're like kind of like a symbolism, I guess. Mm -hmm. You know, easy ones like the world just kind of destroying itself or like becoming a piece of rubble, you know, around you. Or, or as you said, no people around, like being stuck on your own mm -hmm. in like a world that's just crumbling around you. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can see here the, the tear, yeah. See, it's almost like he's overcoming everything now and reversing the... I think those violins in the back just give me like this hopeful feeling. Yeah. It's a reverse of what happened in Let the World Burn, was it? You know, at the end, the whole world was burning. Here was like everything reversed yeah. back. Uh, I don't know if that came out before or after Watch the World Burn. I don't even know if there will be any reference between one another, but kind of made me feel like it. There's a part of me that's a little bit disappointed that there was no heavy guitars and like, you know, this cool beat. But on the other hand, I, I, I felt like this fit those lyrics so much more. Mm -hmm. This is absolutely what I was expecting. Like when you listen to the, the lyrics, this is what you would feel the, the beat should be like. You know, something emotional, something, uh, you know. I'm tempted to say this suits more with the lyrics than the original version, you know, which is totally different in a way. I wouldn't want to be dancing or, you know, bouncing or how do I put it to such an emotional and sad, dark story. But with this, it puts you in that state of mind or how do I put it, like, puts you in that mood that links to the lyrics. Yeah, I think it intensifies basically yeah. the lyrics. You definitely get more visceral feeling. There's more emotions to it, You mm. kind of. Yeah, that's... You actually feel the song more with this beat, like you, you could feel it. You feel the words better. You're not distracted. Mm. Yeah, I think that that's a really good cover. Yeah, totally not what I was expecting. You know, there's like this little part of me that really wants to hear like the heavy version of the song. Yeah, that's a surprise. But I'm, I'm not gonna lie. This is like really good. <laughs> Freaking hell, it was good. Mm -hmm. All right. In any case. Thank you so much for checking out this reaction uh, with us. Thanks, guys. See you later. See you.